I don't know about where you live, but where I live, it has been crazy windy this year. And I'm hearing that from a lot of you, no matter where you're at. And if you're gonna play golf, you're gonna play in the wind. And how do you keep the ball flight down or how do you hit a low punch shot? Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do that because actually, it's not that difficult when you understand a couple key concepts. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cove, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And I'm pretty lucky. I get to spend a lot of my days outside on the driving range. But this year, I don't know if I'm very lucky because it has been insanely windy. And I've been teaching a lot of my golfers about how to hit this punch shot. So let me go through a couple concepts, all right? And then I'm gonna give you some, some a drill and some things that you could do actually on the golf course to actually implement this. So let's talk about, first of all, how we do it. And then we'll talk about the feel in a second. So. First of all, how do we do it? Well, a couple things I gotta say that I know you're gonna maybe roll your eyes and you're gonna think, I already know that, Todd, but here's the first thing. Obviously, you wanna use a club with less loft, okay? I know that sounds over simple, but I see people who have a hundred and, let's say, 30 yards, and they grab their nine iron, and they just try to rip it, and what happens is the ball just goes straight up in the air. So the first thing is grab less loft, all right? So depending upon the wind, if it's, I don't know how, 15, 20, 30 miles an hour, grab less loft so you can actually bring the ball flight down. Because one of the things that causes the ball to go up in the air is loft, right? Your nine iron goes higher than your six iron. All right, first tip. I know, very basic, but I gotta get it out there. The second concept is club head speed. So think about this for a second. Have you ever been on the driving range, and I'm gonna hit a shot here and demonstrate, but you ever been on the driving range, and there's, a, there's maybe a, a young golfer there, nine, 10, 11 years old, and man, they are hitting the ball solid. But it's not probably getting very high, right? Because they don't have the same club head speed as an adult who's swinging it really quick. So let me just go ahead and hit a shot here, all right? And we got our man Kyle here down the line. He's showing us down the line. So I'm gonna swing the first one at really like half speed. Okay, and I'm gonna try to still hit it solid. Okay, that was, <laughs> that was actually pretty solid. All right, nice little baby draw, and the flight was pretty low, all right? If I go ahead and make the same length swing with the same club, but I'm gonna pick up the speed. Here we go, I'm picking up the speed. Okay, that was definitely higher. So that's the second concept you gotta understand is how fast you swing the golf club also dictates how high it goes. So let's go back to our initial thought here because this might be you. It's windy, it's 125 yards. Normally on a calm day, you hit your nine iron 125 yards. So your reaction is, I'm just gonna swing it faster. Well, now you know. When you swing it faster, the ball just goes higher. So what you're going to do is you're gonna grab an eight iron or maybe a seven iron, and you're gonna slow the swing down. You have less loft, and that'll bring that ball flight down. So that's the first concept that we've gotta understand. Now, let's talk a little bit about the technique, all right? Then I'm gonna give you a feel that you can do on the golf course. All right, so here we go. So from a technique standpoint, let's talk about the setup here. I'm gonna move these golf balls out of the way so my man Nick who's running the camera face on there today, can show this. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move the ball back in the stance a little bit. So if you, if you haven't already, you know, you should be subscribed to this channel. I'm hoping you're subscribed to our channel. Come on, subscribe, comment, do all the things that you know I ask you to do, but you know where the proper ball position is at, all right, with a six iron, okay? But when you're hitting a shot lower in a punch shot, you're gonna move it back. So I want this ball to be positioned off the zipper on my pullover here, okay, or even a little bit back of that. So see where that ball is positioned? It's definitely back of where I normally would have it. I also want to choke down on the club a little bit, and I want a little forward shaft lean. So let's go through it again, here we go. I'm gonna bring it in, I'm choking down, little forward shaft lean, ball's back in the stance a little bit. Let's hit one. Ooh, nice. Low bullet right there, okay. So that's the setup. Now, what about the swing? Did you pick up anything on the swing there? Hopefully you did. If you've watched any of our other videos, like on hit, like we've got a ton of videos on fixing the slice, where we teach you to get the high handle. We've got a ton of good things on, uh, uh, for our experienced golfers. How many of you out there are my experienced golfers? You, you know who you are, right? We've got a ton of stuff out there in the vertical line system that we've taught. But you should have noticed something a little different in the finish. Two things. Number one, it was more abbreviated. Did you see that? 
a little more abbreviated. I didn't have that nice high kind of Jack Nicholas finish. I had more abbreviated or shorter. The other thing is I had a little bit of an elbow squeeze. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit it again, then we're gonna talk about that. So, here we go. I've got a six iron, ball's back, a little forward shaft lean, okay? I like that, I love this shot. Okay, so when you head to the golf course, what I want you to feel, what I want you to feel, is I don't want tension. I don't want tension. Tension is killer for golf. But I want you to feel, as you go through the strike, you feel the elbows almost squeeze a little bit together. So when you finish, your arms are a little bit more straight. What this will do is it'll help you maintain some forward shaft lean and drive that ball a little bit lower. So hey, if you're gonna play any golf, you're gonna play in the wind, my friend. These little tips right here are gonna help you navigate those situations.